video is sponsored by Skillshare, an amazing online learning community. The first link in the description, the first 500 of you guys that click that link are gonna get the first two months of service free. Stay tuned for later in this video where I'm gonna describe it more, but I'm so hyped that they decided to sponsor this video because I've been a huge fan of their service for years and I feel like it's gonna help a ton of you guys. All right, without further ado, let's dive right into the Surface Laptop 2. I just got this into the studio. I went to the event a couple weeks back and I got to check out this and the other new releases. I'll link that video in the description if you wanna see the other products. But I'm so excited to dive right into this and give you guys my second impressions. Let me know if you want a full review and if so, what you want covered in that video. But yeah, let's dive right in. So I've been a fan of the Surface lineup for a very long time. Um, and when I got my hands on the Surface Laptop last year, I really fell in love with it. And this year there have been like internal upgrades and the new matte black color. So I really feel like it's gonna be like the best laptop of this caliber on the market. So I'm really excited to test it out. But yeah, it all starts with the unboxing. This is honestly the best job in the world, unboxing things, so good. I'm gonna close this knife because I just do not trust myself. Uh, and then we're just gonna pop this open. So they sent me the matte black version, of course, because that's literally my favorite version. Um, and in terms of the specs, I think it's a mid-tier model, but I'm not 100% sure. This is a computer right here. I'm gonna pop that aside for now and look at what else we get in the box. All right, so checking out what's in the box and then we'll get to this. Um, and I also wanna just like give props to Microsoft. I really feel like they have some of the best product packaging. We always say like Apple's product packaging is so good and I feel like Microsoft is right in line with them. But over here, it's pretty simple stuff. So we have just the paperwork and this little pamphlet over here. So how to get started, stuff like that. Um, I really feel like we're not gonna be needing that, but it's nice that they include it for the people that will. Then down here, um, we have another long piece. Um, and I think when we open this, I think this should just be like the charger. And it is in fact the charger and everything in here. It doesn't come with like a lot of stuff, but um, I really feel like you don't need a lot of stuff in here. You just need the charger. Um, and this and the charger is again um, like the magnetic charger, which is always really nice to see I'm gonna throw it to the side and put this back away, and then we're gonna take a closer look at the computer oh. That is so good and this black this Black looks really clean Wow Okay, so I saw this at the event, but a lot of people had already touched it. Um, and under my own lighting, like studio lights and stuff, this is a really, really good looking matte black. I'm gonna pop open the top and see the inside. Ah, uh, wow. Okay, so the inside is Alcantara. Um, we got black keys. Oh, it's so good. All right, wow. It looks really clean, and this also feels extremely light. Ah, uh, so, wow. Feeling in my hands, it looks really good. Also, it shouldn't be that fingerprint prone, like you're definitely gonna see fingerprints, but I don't think it should be terrible this year. But I'm gonna power it on to give it a closer look. Uh, and the main thing with this computer is that it doesn't have the best specs on the market, but I think you're buying it for two main reasons. You want a really stylish, premium computer, um, and you also want it to run Windows. And then you also want um, a computer that has a great trackpad, a great software, like, and hardware experience combo because there are a ton of Windows laptops in the market that are significantly cheaper than this. But I feel like this is so unique because the trackpad is really good, the keys are really good, the overall build is really good, it's light, it's compact. So I feel like there's definitely a place for it on the market. Uh, but a little setup screen came up, so I'm gonna set this up right now. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. All right, thank you, Cortana. We'll sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Okay. Use your voice or nope. the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Your region. You think for how many computers I set up, I would know when Cortana's about to stop, but I turned her off for now, um, and we're just gonna go through the regular setup process, but it is nice that you do have, like a guided assistant for this setup, and it's the same setup for like every um, Windows computer pretty much. Uh, so I'm just going through the setup. And as I'm doing that, I'm seeing that the trackpad is picking up some fingerprints, but it also is matte black, which is really nice. And the keys are of course matte black. So I'm gonna go through the setup and then I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the computer. Okay, so the lighting looks totally different and that's because uh, it's a couple hours later. I had a little bit of trouble setting up this computer. Uh, basically, it just kept getting stuck on the same one screen while setting it up. 
Uh, and I tweeted about it on Twitter and a lot of you guys came to my rescue and posted recommendations. Microsoft was in touch immediately asking how they could help fix it. And then simply, and this is gonna sound really dumb, all I had to do that worked at least so far is uh, shut down the computer, plug it into the charger, reopen it and restart and it worked. So we're here. And actually the added benefit of not being able to film everything in one sitting is that it gave me a lot of time to actually play with this. So I've gotten a little bit more time than I generally would in a second impressions video. Let me tell you guys my overall thoughts and then I'm obviously gonna wanna go more in depth in a review video if that's something that would interest you. All right, let's start off with the thing that's staring me right in the face, the gorgeous display. Oh, it's so good. It's really, really good. It's vibrant, it's crisp, it gets really bright. We have two massive lights hidden down at us, which is a little bit severe, but the screen is still extremely viewable. Uh, and it just looks really, really good. I loaded on this background that I use a lot, uh, and it just, it looks so good. I'm not sure if it's gonna really show up that well here, but it really looks amazing. Love the matte black. I love that the matte black is continued in the trackpad and the keyboard. Love the keys, they're really tactile. Uh, and uh, the trackpad feels really precise and nice as well. Alcantara in the interior is sweet again, and the speakers sound really good. I was listening to the song Be All Right by Dean Lewis, which I would highly recommend you check out. But in this case, I'm just gonna play a YouTube video so we don't get copyrighted. Um, but yeah, it's really, really good. Uh, so let's just play my Pixel 3 review and see how that sounds. What I'm about to play you is at 48% volume. So you can make sure that your eyes are not closed or exposure looks good or whatever it is. The uh, little like advertising, it just sounds so good. Like I don't even see where it is and it's punchy and it's loud and that's at 48% volume. When you go all the way up to like 100% it's gonna be really loud. Turn on HDR for the recommended photos that they think that you should use. I don't think that's really useful. There's really not that much distortion. It, ju it just sounds really good. I'm gonna try to withhold saying those words, but that's really how I would describe the overall experience on here. Also, the hinge feels really secure for um, using it. Like when I, it has a touch screen. So when like I use it for that, the hinge doesn't move that much. So I feel like I can do it like one handed just like this, which is nice because on a lot of devices, you'd have to like hold it here and then go like that. But on this one, you definitely do not. Things that I can't test in this quick unboxing video is stuff like durability and battery life. So I'm definitely gonna put an emphasis on testing out those things, but performance feels pretty good. The screen feels really good. Overall, there's not major changes from last year, but um, everything was kind of improved to make it a really good device. One thing that I'm not so hot on is the lack of ports and the fact that the ports that it does have are pretty old. There's not that many current ports. So I uh, would love to see a more 2018 port selection and more ports in general, but not the end of the world. I think that this is gonna be my go-to travel device now when I'm not editing something because it's really light uh, and it looks really, really pretty. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's just, it's compact. I can take it with me easily. So I'm thinking about this one, Microsoft. You got me here. I wanna talk a little bit about the sponsor of this video, Skillshare, because it's an, awesome service that you definitely need to know about. Skillshare is an online learning community with over 17,000 classes in business, film, animation, creativity, a bunch of topics, like an endless amount of topics are on here. A premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes from experts working in their field so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities, and do the work you love. Skillshare is also more affordable than most learning platforms out there. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. I've been taking a class by Ryan Booth and he's a really, really well-known cinematographer. And what he does is he shows how he lights a room and everything that goes into that. And I've really been trying to improve my lighting. So that's an awesome class. I'm also trying to improve my animation and editing skills and filmmaking skills as a whole. So there's just a ton of classes that I've been taking. If you noticed an increase in video quality, that's why. Uh, yeah, I'm a huge fan of it. I've actually been using it for a really long time. So it gets my thumbs up. If you're trying to improve in a bunch of different fields, if you're trying to get into YouTube, learn how to use a camera even, I feel like there's a lot of great opportunities and a lot of great content on Skillshare. So I'm gonna leave the first link in the description down below as a Skillshare link. If you click it, you're not only supporting me, but the first 500 people are gonna get two months free of Skillshare's awesome service. So be sure to check out that link. Thank you again to them for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up, subscribe right here, and check out my other content right here. I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Thank you again for watching. Bye.